And so last week in part one, I mentioned, uh, or we set up the guide to, or the angle and everything to get ready to grind these larger blanks. And I mentioned during that time that you can, uh, once it's set up, if you need to, you can take this off and it preserves everything. So what I'm gonna actually do is remove that and I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna finish grind some of these uh, ceramic, custom ceramic uh, platen plates. I'm gonna end grind those on this diamond belt. I'm gonna do that real quick so I can get those shipped out and then I'll put this back on and it'll be ready to grind still because nothing's been moved. But like I mentioned, this will preserve, this is already square to all that and this is set so that's not gonna move. Set this over here. want to drop it or bump it, obviously, but just setting it down isn't going to cause trouble. <clears throat> so I'm just going to edge grind some of these. This is a diamond uh, micro finishing belt. These are pretty pricey. I happened to, uh, for some reason, was able to buy one at $34 and they come four inches wide. So it's a four by 72 and I Cut it in half with on you know at home with a razor blade. I went down and cut it in half, and I went. I liked it uh, for thirty-four dollars worth. I liked it, but I went back to buy more, and they were over one hundred and eighty dollars. So somebody in that time discovered that uh, they were selling it too low and raised the price. I'm not quite sure it's one hundred and eighty dollar worth, but at thirty-four dollars to get two belts out of out of that was, in my opinion, worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. This doesn't take too long. This belt's, uh, it doesn't take much. I use a, uh, an Alpha Vitro to cut those with on my wet tile saw. And it gives a nice finish and then I'll knock the edges down. We'll tension up the belt. Doesn't take a lot, like I mentioned. Just gonna knock the edges down. A uh, regular sanding belt does not work on these. I even tried the Cubitron and it just shreds the Cubitron. It doesn't, uh, I haven't had luck with anything but these diamonds. Alright, that's taking the sharp edge off. slant the plunge Ricasso area slide them out all right so I'm gonna flatten this out across the flat spot and an eighth of an inch from the end of the blade I'm gonna make a little slant and that's gonna be my target it's going to be a fifth. It's a you can't you won't be able to see it. It's really uh, faint. I don't want to scratch it into the blank. I just scratched it through the coating, and so it's going to be a 15 degree slant. In uh, where'd that line go? Approximately like that. Instead of just being straight up and down, it'll give a little forward sweep to it as it goes up. I'm going to place these two together. The marked one, the one that's going to be ground is going to be on this side to start with, and I'm going to grind it here. All right, I'm going to start out slow for demonstration purposes. Um, but once you get familiar, you can run this blade very fast, this belt very fast, and actually this is a Cubitron 2 belt. Uh, they really love to go fast, and you'll get a lot better wear, a lot better cutting, a lot longer life. Um, they stay sharp. If you run them too slow, they get dull quick. Uh, and another benefit 
of the guide here is grinding edge down. You're going into a smooth transition in and you don't scrape the grit off. I've got belts over here, a belt that has ground more than 50 blanks and other belts that are up into the 30 range um, that I grind for myself, that I grind on my personal stuff. For a uh, paying customer, I'm going to use, uh, start out with a new belt, uh, just make it easier for me. What I'm going for here is a full flat grind with 15 thousandths remaining for the center. Get started.
280. From 320 down to 280, so I'm taking off um, 40. Or 330. I'm taking off 50, so I need to take off 25 more. So 25,000 is more. put me up there. Like I mentioned, I'm going to stop a little bit before I get to the top, so I have some room to clean. for being uh, hardened. I think it might be a carbon steel of some kind. Make sure I get it all. Get the belt a chance to cut all the spots out. And it gives a bit finer finish. just to see. I haven't ground this profile before, so I want to make sure I don't make a mess. I mean, these, these aren't uh, replaceable. I'm at 270, so I took off another uh, about 9,000 in those last couple of passes. So I need to get down to nicely. We've got about 15,000 more thickness to go to get to the target, and by then, I uh, expect to be up here to the top. So I'm going to start slowing down as I get closer. I don't want to overshoot it. You can't ungrind. No matter how many times you try to ungrind, you can't ungrind it. Thank you. 